Okay, hey guys, I am back. I, I'm i going to just share with you some of my empties. And also, I had a few people ask because I've mentioned that I use the Ulta a lot of times the little eyeshadow just the individual eyeshadows that you buy and I actually I actually take them out of here and I put them into a a palette you know the little magnetic palette so that I create my own palette with that and when I went to Alter I bought a number of them and I have some empties so if you're curious stay tuned Oh my goodness, so I think I'll do my empties first because I don't have all that many. But um, you guys know that I am an avid mask person and I love wearing eye, eye masks. You know, like I like just love putting on an eye patch in the morning. Sometimes when I get up, I just, I just put it on and I just, it stays on my eyes forever. Anyways, I have, was gifted a bunch of eye masks as I'm going to call them or eye patches or however you want to refer, reference them. I had, was gifted a bunch of them from Sheila and um, Simply Sheila and this particular one from King Poor. I believe she got this on Amazon and I'm, I'm not sure but I'm going to get this again. I finished it. I absolutely love it. This is hyaluronic acid. When I put these on and I leave them on and then I take them off my skin is so much smoother under my eyes than the skin underneath it. You know what I mean? Like underneath is smooth, but below where it didn't have the patch on or the mask on, you can see a difference. I love, love this. I, love I just bought this one, and this is from Good Molecules. This is coffee, caffeine and, and energizing hydrogel eye patches. So I guess that's what you call them as eye patches. This is the second one that I bought. I really like these a lot. I get these in Ulta. But Good Molecules, you can probably pick them up anywhere. But these are super, super nice. I like these better. So I'm going to be reordering these. I'm going to find out if Sheila has a link. If not, I'll find them on Amazon and, and get them. I really like them. Use them all up. 60 patches. You put one under each eye. It says keep them on for, what, 10 minutes or so. I just keep them on for a long time. These I bought, I like, this is the second time I've bought these, so I really do like these a lot. So, awesome stuff. I have finally finished my Burt's Bees Cleansing Oil. Now, I had two of these. I think I might have mentioned when I finished the first one, I had the second one in the motorhome, finally finished it. I'm not a fan. It's very nice. It's affordable, but I'm just not a fan of it at all. I won't buy it. I, I'm getting my DC, DCA, probably mentioning that wrong. I get the other cleansing oil. I have that on auto delivery, and I really like that a lot. And I've been using e.l.f. eye pencils, eyeshadow. It's Instant Lift Brow Pencil. I've been using this and I've been using it in a medium brown as well as a, one other color. Let me see what the color is. Um, well, this is the medium brown, but I have two different shades that I use. So this is the medium brown. I really like it. It's got the little spoolie so you can comb up and then I put this on. It's sort of like it's a softer pencil, so it's not the hard pencil. It's like a gel and I, I have already replaced it. I think this is probably maybe the fifth or sixth time I've used this. I really do like it. I get these little hand creams. This is Claudette, Claudelie. This is really nice. I like these sizes. They're not super expensive. You, they're perfect for your bag. So I picked these up. Gosh, where did I get this? I don't even remember, but I really like it a lot. And then I think I showed this sunscreen. If you guys can get your hands on the Trader Joe's Daily Facial Sunscreen, this is a dupe for the... Um, super goop and it is really nice it, it's moisturizing um the super goop is moisturizing for me as well but i can put makeup on it just plays really really nice with my makeup so i really do like it use this up this is mac prep and prime 
um, I use this up. I really like it. I have not repurchased. I probably will repurchase it. I did buy this. I think I got this at the cosmetic company store like maybe a year and a half ago. So next time I go to the cosmetic company store, I will look for this and I'll, I'll repurchase. I liked it a lot. I think it was really nice. Prep and prime. You kind of spray it on, kind of primes and preps your skin for your makeup. I, I thought it was really nice. And that's really all I have in my empties basket. I haven't had a whole lot of empties. But the colors that I bought, right, the from, from Ulta, because I really like these a lot. So I have Good Vibes. I have Dinner Party. I have a Desire. Woohoo. And I have, this is Coffee Bean. I knew that was Coffee Bean. I have Coffee Bean and I have Petite. So I have two that are sort of brownish and two that are sort of uh, neutral skin color and then one that's sort of really light that works awesome in my crease then i have the darker ones go on the end this goes in the crease and these are the all over colors so i buy them i de pan them i put them in one of those c palettes they call it you can buy them at Ulta, you can get them at sephora you can get them at amazon and then i just build my own palette and that is especially something i like to do lately because I find that when I buy a palette <coughs> when I buy a palette I am more often than not using maybe three colors if I'm lucky in that palette the most and then to me it's like why am I spending all that money to buy a palette when I'm probably only going to use three colors so I have been really gravitating towards this just to buy my own colors, put them in. And I happen to like the way the Ulta shadows work. There's some fallout, meaning, you know, you have to make sure you tap your brush off. But you're going to get that no matter what quality of the shadow it is. But I like the fact that it, it's not, um, the, the pigment isn't, isn't super dark. And I like that. I'd rather build up than have to take down. So I don't want something that's overly pigmented. That's just my skill level. I'd rather go much lighter and then build it dark. So it has a nice payoff. The pigment is really nice for me to my level. Nice and light. <laughs> and then I can make it darker. And I don't look like a clown sometimes. You know, sometimes when I use something that's super pigmented, like I'll never forget, I used something not too long ago. I put it on and I felt like I look like such a clown. But anyways, I'm really liking those a lot. So um, that's, that's what I have most recently bought because I want to stock up. We are getting ready to, well, when you see this, I may already be back, I don't know. But we, we go to Bar Harbor, Maine. So when I'm in Bar Harbor, Maine, I'm probably going to do those shadows the whole time. I'm going to um, bring my current body device for my hands and my mask for my candy way and continue on all of that oh i should tell you for those of you that care some of you do some of you really don't um i ended up because my hair was a total disaster this morning and i just didn't have the option to fix it so i ended up just um just putting a topper on, you know. Um, this is one of my original toppers, my John Renault Easy part. And I have it on, and the color has always been perfect for me. This is shaded praline, I believe. It's a perfect color for me, but this is just one of my, my toppers. I haven't really worn a topper in my, you know, work world in a while. But today, I just said, you know, it, it looks so close to my hair, but what it's done is just give me a little bit more volume here, up here, near the bangs, because of really high forehead. And um, my hair has always been receding, I guess, because I've always had a high forehead. And then it just makes it, when it's thinner up here, just makes it look all the worse. But since I've had my hair cut and I've been taking the medication, you know, for my hair, I haven't had any hair fallout. However... I am taking new medication for preventative for the breast cancer, um, you know, to prevent anything happening that does have some um, hair fallout. And so where I already have suffered from hair fallout, I don't quite know what to expect. So I'm kind of glad I have these to fall back on. 
and some of you asked about this ring. I mentioned, I think, this before. This, this was my mother and father's wedding ring, my dad's wedding ring. And I wear it around my neck. My mother's chain, my dad's wedding ring, my mother and father's wedding ring, I guess. I think this is... This was hers. I don't think he ever had one because he was a machinist. But this was his ring, you know, that he gave her when they got married. So I wear that. But so anyways, that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.